it's your boy Tyreek. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So for my first video, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit more insight into me. So I'm gonna do a Q&A, but with a little bit of a twist. I'm gonna do a normal day in the life of a day where I'm not working, not busy, not really doing too much, just my day-to-day -day activities. I'm gonna bring you lot with me. So you're gonna come with me to all the locations. I'm gonna answer your questions throughout the day. So let's get this show on the road, later. Cool. The first thing I do once I come out of the shower to start off the day is do my skincare routine. A lot of you guys have been asking me what do I do for it and I'm going to show you a lot here and I'm going to show you a lot. This is the only time once so make sure you lock in and watch carefully and subscribe to the YouTube channel you get me. So cool. It's pretty simple. The first thing I use, Sarah V face wash. Get this in boots. You know what I'm saying? Then after that, once I wash my face and dry my face, I use this serum from L'Oreal Men like this one a lot still. I've tried a lot of serums, this is my favorite one. After that, I use a L'Oreal eye pen for under the bags, under my eyes, you know what I'm saying? I have some late nights, studio, stuff like that. Get into the bag. I use that to make myself look a bit more vibrant, you know what I'm saying? After that, brightening eye drops. My eyes have been very, very dry lately. I just put two eye drops in each eye when I wake up and before I go to sleep, just to keep that moisture, you know what I'm saying? I make my eyes sparkle, you know? I see you don't be talking about my eyes in the TikTok edits and that, this is the secret. Now the last thing I use, just moisturizer, or leave the skin food light. A lot of people use the skin food dark, yeah? But I don't really like it, I feel like it's too thick. So the skin food light is just like the perfect texture for me, do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, also from Boots. So Boots and L'Oreal, get all my skincare products. You get me? Sign me up, ambassador. Uh, a lot of people also asking about my teeth. One person even said, bro, bro, like, why you get veneers? I had to tell him, concentrate. It's not even that. I got composite bonding from Smile HQ in Brentwood. If you go there, ask for Polar and Sasha. Two best dentists in Essex. Man can vouch. You get my teeth looking crazy. Not veneers. Definitely not veneers. So make sure you don't get that in your head. It's composite. So yeah. With all that being said and cleared up, let's go hit the gym. This belly ain't gonna lose itself. Let's hit up. Right now we're on the way to the gym. Little light session in today. Keep ticking over. Everyone knows I'm on my fitness journey. So yeah, catch you up when I'm there. Uh, by the way, the reception that I've been getting from that Rising Ballers video from opening up and telling my story has been crazy, man. Like, I never expected it. Genuinely, so many people have messaged me saying thank you and they can relate to me and stuff like that, man. So yeah. Nothing but love, man. Thank you, everyone. I'd just like to say, if anyone is going through anything, young, old, footballer, not a footballer, no matter what walk of life you're in, if you're going through a bad time and you just need someone to talk to, you want someone to talk to, and you feel like you want to talk to me, I'll always have that conversation. My DMs are always open. You get me? That's, life's not easy, man. So let's all stick together and help each other through it. I'm a big advocate for that, man. Someone who's definitely struggled myself, as you lot know. That leads me on to my, uh, one of the questions that I've been asked, to be fair. Someone asked me, when I got injured with my ankle, did I have surgery? And the answer is, yeah, like right now, currently, I've got a metal plate in my ankle, which I've had in there since I was 17, because I'm 24 now. And yeah, I had, I had four operations on one ankle, just to try and make it, um, make it solid again to play football. If I'm being honest, the, do the doctor said to me, when I broke my ankle, when I went in for the first time, the doctor said, you might not ever play football again because it was that bad. So that's something I left out on a Rising Ballers interview. So, yeah, man. But luckily, I played football again, and I'm here, and we're working. I just pulled up to the gym. I see Dior Sauvage. I was the first brother to use this in the entire world, you know. Trust me. Then everyone started copying me, so now it's just my car fragrance, you get me? It's sad, man, because I actually really like it. But I can't use quite smell like everyone else, man. And I can't even tell you lot what I use on my, on my actual day today, you know what I'm saying? When I'm stepping out, I need to gatekeep that one, but maybe I'll do a video. Bro, how many of them have you got, man? Oh, bro, They're all sticking together, bro. But, listen, don't drive, bro. It's a cash loss, I'm telling you. <laughs> Westminster. I don't even know where that one is, bro. Ting but two. All need to be paid, bro. What's that coming in here for? Oh, I left my gym gloves at home. Sorry, I don't. Head's gone, bro. 
My head's gone. It's alright though. I know they're here. <laughs> okay. Gotta make sure I get the gloves on. Gotta keep my hands nice for my girl, you get me? She don't like when I'm rubbing her with the calluses and that. What's wrong with you, bro? Of course I can say that. Match day. Bare lights on the dash. No, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Come, let's go, man. Come on, come on, young boy. Hey, the greatest of all time. Coldest, my brother. I start off every session I do with a 10 minute bike ride as a little warm up. A question I keep getting asked a lot is whether I'm making a return to football and the answer is I'm definitely coming back. You know, I've had some things to sort out, I've had some time off, some time to enjoy, a bit too much enjoyment, but I've got the hunger back. I'm going to come back in pre-season when everyone else comes back, so it's a level playing field. I'm going to get straight back on it. What team I'm going to go, I don't know yet, but stay tuned. On days like today, where well, I'm not really going too hard, I still like to get a 1,000 metre rower in, just to burn the calories, you know what I'm saying? And a question you guys keep asking me is if I'm happy with the progress and how my fitness journey's going, man. Well, as you can see, the journey's still going. My progress, I'm still not where I want to be, but I'm better than yesterday and I'm making progress. That's all I ask for. Sometimes I'm not motivated to go. Now I look in the mirror, look at my belly and say, yeah, get your ass to the gym, boy. So we're building brick by brick. Rome weren't built in a day. Give me two weeks, no, give me six weeks, two months, and I'm back, ripped, shredded. A few minutes later. <laughs> let's, let's move on. <laughs> Worksy, brick by brick. Doing some planks, you know, really working on that core. I feel like core is the most important part of our body, you know, it controls everything. So I like to do a lot of core work on the active recovery days like this. You know, of course, no one wants to do the influencing thing or be in a public eye forever. I'm grateful, I'm grateful enough to have this platform that I do have. I'm going to be using the money to make some investments and set me up for the future. Then I'm out of here, later. What's one quote I live by? Nobody cares. Go harder. Even your closest people care about themselves more than you. That means you should too. Later, let's go get a trim, man. I'm looking bummy. nice that I'm doing kind of some more serious type content you know I feel like everyone's just used to me being a flat like, all that like joker you know what I'm saying but I've got layers to me I'm an onion you know, the people then want to know what I've got in my GCSEs you know I don't know if they think I'm stupid or I'm smart I don't know which one I don't know if that's a value is that a question of value I don't actually know the answer I'm finding out for the first time myself. Like, what do you reckon? Do you think I'm smart or do you think I was good at school or bad at school? Uh, Honestly, as well, don't I do the balance. I think you did okay, but you're one of those guys who could have studied more, innit? Yeah, yeah, I could have studied more. I didn't really study too tough, but I still left school with four A's, what? five B's, and two C's still. Four A's? Four A's, broski. Get me? It's not a joke, bro. Another question they keep asking me, who's the best player I've played with? I'm going to say it right here, right now, the best player I've ever played with, Jordy Jones. He was with me at Dagenham Redbridge youth team, come through the academy with man, year older than me. He's at uh, Notts County right now, ripping it up in League 2. He got to move from Dagenham to Coventry. So he's done his ACL, he's been mad unlucky. He's done his ACL twice or maybe three times, I think. If it weren't for the ACLs, he's playing in a pro, I'm telling you, that guy's a joke. So check him out. My brother Jody, big baller, left foot, quit his bins for fun. Right now we're at the barbershop, just pulled up. 
I'm late, so I know Vic's gonna be talking a lot of shit to me. We get me that slick V, and we got to this barber since I was about 10 years old, no cap. He can vouch. Let's go get this trim sorted out, man. Let's go. Come. come. My life, Vic. I know. Oh, my brother. Let's be you. Ready, ready, ready. Say, we ready, yeah? Ready tell, tell him something, tell him something. Ready for you, man. How, how, long, have, how long have I been coming here? I've been about 15 years, my guy. Saying, bro, you get me? Here, Since I was a young boy, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm good, man. I've got beard, you know. Huh? I've got beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a beard, you get me? Hey, when I first started coming to me, I had no beard. Clean shaven. I have a shop for the best in the West, man. Yeah? Come to kill it for this guy and go around. Slip, You're saying don't rap with him, no? No, we don't play. <laughs> but let's come where you can go wrong, you know? From Jamaica to England, straight forward. Straight you know the thing, bro? <laughs> right. oh, we're getting taper fades only, man. No more skin fades. I'm trying to get the 360 waves back. People keep asking me how many kids do I want. <laughs> They're saying it's funny. <laughs> I want three kids and I want three boys. I ain't got nothing against girls, but I'm a guy in it, so I just know how to be a guy. So I just want to deal with familiarity, you know what I'm saying? I have to be a princess in my arms here, man. You're a princess? 100%. Yeah, no, of course, yeah. 100%. But I want, I want three triplet boys, though, ideally. They're asking what my favourite moment with Ella is as well. I'm going to have to say it's between two. Christmas, the whole Christmas period when I went to Glasgow for Christmas, that was sick, man. I feel like we got proper clout. Like, even though we're mad close already, that was just a whole nother level of closeness. So, yeah, that was really nice. And also, there was one point when we was in LA on a rooftop bar. Like, I felt like I was flying, bro. It was crazy. It was mad. So, yeah, one of them two still. So. Someone said, someone said you're always holding different colour iPhones in your pick. How many phones do you have? Like, do you know where it is, yeah? I only have one phone. But since I was young, I've always had one mad problem where a man... See, when, especially when it comes to phones, yeah? I'll always get bored of a phone and then try to switch it. So, like, you pro you've, since coming out of the village, you've seen me with bare phones because I keep changing my mind. Like, I keep swapping and changing and trading it in and getting a new thing. Like, it's mad. But right now, I'm rocking with a 15 Pro Max. Titanium grating. I like this one, so I'm settled. I'm content until next week. Might want the white one or the black one, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's, that's the only problem why I keep switching phones, man. Kind of weird to be fair. What's your biggest goal in life? I feel like that's a mad question. I feel like my biggest goal in life is to be, is to just be happy, man. Happy, happy and healthy, my biggest goal in life. And also, be financially free. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have no boss. I've been there, had a boss. Didn't really like it. I'm here being my own boss, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, Vic? I'm not. Big boss. I'm the boss. You know Financial, financial freedom. Happiness. It's the ultimate goal and happiness. happiness. What, celeb crush growing up? Bro, I had a few, you know. Uh, Cassie. Yeah, Cassie was up there. Laura London was up there. Uh, uh, do you know who I was my first celeb crush? You know, um, Gabriella from High School Musical. What's her name? Vanessa Hudgens. Is that her name? Yeah, her, bro. Broski, I was crushing on her heavy. Obviously, right now I'm grown. My celeb crush is Ella Thomas. Later. I'm not, I'm not really trying to avoid them. No problems right now, I'm trying to avoid them. No black spray. All natural. You get me? But we don't deal with a black spray around there, man. Tell, tell, them, tell them, man, if they keep spraying on their hairline and it rains, they're going to go blind, bro. It's going to run in your eyes and that. Uh, you lot, drop in the comments what you rate this trim out of 10, you get me? Think your barber can do a better job? Shout me. We we'll go barber for barber. All right, trim done. I'm back, feeling fresh. I'm starving, so let's go back to the bits, grab some food. It's probably a Nando's thing. Could have stayed in my lane, but I'm swerving. I used to be a nine that early. Bay told me shut it down, shut it down. <laughs> back at Lakeside now, back in my area. It's a Nando's thing, quickly. So come with me. I know on a, on a normal day, obviously between gym barbers and coming back out my yard again, I'd shower. But for the purposes of this. That's not even the shower thing, innit? Because time is of the essence, you get me? So I'm not Trump. I'm not Trump. We're just... I'm doing... My go-to Nando's order on a usual day. If you know, you know, it's on my TikTok. 
But you know, I've been on a on a gym thing, fitness journey recently. So I've made a couple substitutions. I brought the broccoli in, dashed out the double carbs, you get me, but I still got some chips. I'm feeling extra hungry today and I'm listening to my body. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Get me, broccoli's looking nice, fire's looking nice, Perry Tamer only, chips there looking nice and seasoned. Wash down with some water. If I could eat one meal for the rest of my life, I'd have to go Aki and Saltfish. My favorite food, if you don't know where it is, it's a Caribbean food, but with white rice though. Some people are gonna think I'm crazy, but Aki and Saltfish with white rice would be the one meal I'd choose to eat for the rest of my life. And if we're going beverage, I gotta go water, man. Water just serves every purpose, you know what I'm saying? It's the most good for you. And yeah, so I'd go Aki and Saltfish, white rice and water. No, I actually have lived away from my home before, actually. I used to play for Colchester United. So I lived in a house in Colchester with the rest of my teammates, which was, yeah, quite funny. Still a couple of scandals. Can't really talk about them stories right now. So maybe at another time, yeah. And if I had to live in any other country other than the UK, I'd have to go LA. LA is crazy, man. Like, honestly, I need to go back there. So, yeah. Uh, Colchester when PK was there. Yeah, I was at Colchester with PK. Me and PK, Humble, used to live together. If you don't, don't know that, that's how I met him. And yeah, y y as you can imagine, me and PK together one yard, you know, that's carnage, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. We'll you have to get the, uh, the exclusive stories one day in another video. Yeah, yeah, that's, that could be another video, actually. Murder. <coughs> Wax that all down, hit the spot still. But yeah. If someone, if someone gave me the choice to have my first relationship in the public eye or out the public eye, I definitely would have chose out the public eye, man. I'm not really into the public eye relationship stuff too much, but at the end of the day, should I use that one soon? Mums will hit me up saying some silly stuff. But at the end of the day, the cards I was dealt, and I like the situation I'm in, so what can I do? God, God had this plan for me, and I'm, I'm rocking with it. So coping with the pressures, I just, you know, just, Film what we need to film, be as private as we need to be private here and there. Just the fact picking and choosing your moments of what you want to show the world and what you don't want to show the world, innit? So, yeah, that's how I cope with the pressures, really. But, yeah, I'm rocking with it. Anyway, let's go hit some shots. I need some new trainers. Later. If we're talking ideal brand deals, we've got to go LV or Prada. But if we're talking about my favourite, favourite brand... Get me, just do it. My favourite ever brand, ever. Sportswear. Trainers, you know my favourite trainers are Air Force One, so yeah. If I had a night collab, that would be my dream, dream collab, do you know what I'm saying? You know, I come here every other day, yeah, I look for the bottoms to this or this. Bro, they don't have the navy bottoms anywhere, bro. If anyone's got the navy, I don't even know what they could dry fit bottoms, please shout me because I need them, I'm in need, bro. Come here all the time, they're never here, it breaks my heart. Now I gotta walk out all sad. Can't mess up the waves, bro. Let's get out of here before I get kicked out, man. Come on. Another brand that I've worked with and would love to carry on working with is this one right here. Uh, ever since I was young, any time I went shops with my mum, shopping centre with my mum, with my friends, anywhere, up until this day, I can't leave without seeing what JD's got for me. You know what I'm saying? I've got to check the crepes, got to check the tracksuits, all of that. So let's see what they got for me today. Uh. Uh, they didn't let me film in their store, but I got the goods. I'll do a little unboxing when I get back yard. Come. Uh, if I had to describe my style, I definitely say simple but effective. I don't really wear too much loud colours, too much loud patterns. I just like everything to look neat and comfy, do you know what I'm saying? So that's my thing. But I'm stylish, don't get it twisted. Hey, I'd like to do some work with these lot, you know? But they ain't shouting me yet. I don't know what's going on. I think Philly's taking up all the budget, bro. Giving him too much dough. But Tyree time Philly will be brazy, yeah, like? Like, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You watch that? Bro, well, forget that. Everyone in the comments, at Foot Asylum, at JD, at Nike, at Prada, at LV. Any friend that I've mentioned, at them all, get on their necks. Because you see my fans, they go hard for me. So let's keep running it up. Let's go hard. Let's keep winning together. Also, tag Philly and tell him to do some. I'm, well, I think Philly's got shares in Foot Asylum still. You get me? So say, you get me? <laughs> later, later, later. Not even on a CD thing, yeah? But you see Victoria's Secret, yeah? Why is it called that, bro? Because I, I want to know the secret, G. Who knows the actual secret? I don't get it. Do you? Look at me, comment. If you know Victoria's actual secret, shout me, because I want to know. I'm not on a CD thing, I'm not a creep, I swear. I pr Listen, I promise. Back at the crib. Told you that I'll show you what I got from JD today. You know my favourite trainers are Air Force One. 
but I feel like I should get some P6000s, man. I like these ones still. I feel like I can rock them neat, go with a couple things I got. So yeah, they're different. I ain't got nothing like this, so yeah. Last couple questions before I wrap up this Q&A day in the life, because I'm tired and I'm trying to unwind and play some Warzone. So right now, I'm working on my music. Obviously, I've been in the booth for the past three months now, like four times a week, making sure I get the right sound, working on my sound, just practicing on the mic, you know what I mean? Because it's all kind of new to me, so yeah. Just doing that, other than that, uh, obviously you see the waves. I'm working on bringing out my own uh, do-rag wave brush line, working on that at the minute, that's in the works of getting worked on. Um, what else am I working on? Obviously I'm in my YouTube bag, as you lot can tell, thinking of new ideas. If you lot got any ideas, drop them in the comments, hit me in the DMs, anything, anytime I do a Q&A, just tell me what you lot want to see. But yeah, I'm trying to think of creative ways to get in this YouTube bag. Uh, obviously, I like to go into some modelling as well. So I'm flirting around the idea of that at the minute. Obviously, I know I'm not really too comfortable in front of the camera, but I think with repetition, I'll get better and better. So yeah, man. How many tattoos do you have? Oh, tattoos. I've got one. And then a whole, whole sleeve. Not really done. The inside ain't done, but I've got it. Let me show you. Look. As you guys know, I'm a family man. So I've got my sisters, brothers, mothers, fathers, birthdays tatted on me. Do you know what I mean? They mean a lot to me. I've got Who God Bless, No Man Curse, tatted on the inside of my arm, which obviously means God has blessed me. No man out here can curse me, or woman, no one can curse me. I'm blessed and highly favoured. My dad's also got the same tattoo in the exact same place, so it's more like a ode to him, when I say him sort of thing. Got obviously 99 tatted on me here, the year I was born, 1999. I've got Never Let A Hard Time Humble Us and the Victory Lap Flags uh, from Nipsey Hussle's album. Uh, Nipsey Hussle played a big role in my life, you know. When I was going through the bad time, what I mentioned about in the Rising Ballers interview, I literally listened to his album back on front, back to front, front to back, literally studied all of it. So all the, most of the lyrics he said sat with me and yeah, I just felt like this was, this symbolizes a part of my life where I was down and and I've risen out of it sort of thing, so yeah. And then here I've got a clock, here, and then I've got the time is now basically in digital inside the clock, which I thought was a cool concept. And yeah, I'm a strong believer in the time is now. If I'm gonna do something, do it now. Don't wait, time don't wait for no one. So yeah, I am getting more tattoos to be fair. I need to finish this whole arm off and I am getting this whole other arm done. So I will eventually have two whole sleeves and I will vlog my tattoo journeys with you guys and put it on YouTube. So yeah, yeah, man, that's me. Later, gonna bang some more